What up, what up, what up, what up? It's me, L Teddy 27. Good night, dude. Right about the hood. Oh, dear God. I'm already eating the drink. Look at damn mess. It's just a damn mess. Please no. And yes, me, no. What up, 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 what's good, people? What is up? What is up? I'm back for another review. This is going to be our review for Real Life and Philanthropy. This is season one. It is episode four. It is entitled, Can I Use Your iPhone? Y'all see, I got on two masks. Not one, not two. Remember the back in the day when you had sex with an ugly girl and they called her a two-bagger because you didn't want to have one bag on her head when you was bagging her out. You wanted to have two just in case the first bag um, broke or came off. And some people, when you look at them and they just make you itch in the day of COVID and you know they got some, they're a carrier of something nefarious that you don't want any parts of, you got to do the two mask thing because you just look at them and be like, yeah, this one mask ain't going to be enough. Uh, some of these people, this, they, oh, Jesus, they bring a tear to my eye because they just uh, make me feel like I need two masks. Let's go ahead and knock this down. So we start off, Jamie goes to this um, place called Atlanta Harm Reduction Coalition. Let me tell y'all something. That place was amazing. It was wonderful to see. Um, he went through and they gave him a tour of all of the different services and everything that they have accessible to um, to people there in Atlanta or in Atlanta or whatnot. And it was amazing. It was phenomenal. Um, I was really blown away and taken aback. I mean, everything from uh, helping you with things like getting your um, ID or your driver's license or your birth certificate to certainly testing and um screening for not just HIV and AIDS, but STIs and um, other STIs and so forth, vaccinations for H, um, for um, hepatitis and stuff like that, or other vaccinations. They had doctors and nurse practitioners on staff um, on a daily basis. They do counseling. They even had a shower for those, you know, sometimes you have um, youths, um, LGBT youths that may have been thrown out of the house and may, you know, find themselves homeless and maybe in between places to stay. And they got even a place back there where they can take a shower get a meal. They had so many different services there. They even had a prevention um, thing where I guess they probably go out to like clubs and stuff like that to hand out um, um, condoms and um, paperwork and stuff like that. I mean, it was just a beautiful thing. I really would hope that um, maybe a show like this or somebody um, can speak to some of the other um, shows, the other YouTube web series for the um, community. And maybe during those commercial segments, spotlight places like this in the various cities. Like I think like on a show like a Chasing Atlanta, they should probably during one of their commercial break se segments, do a little spotlight on a place like this because you got all those eyes on you. And it would do it would go a long way to promote such a great um, place that um, I, 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 it was just amazing to me. Or even like in Chasing Dallas or something like that, if they had a similar place in Dallas. Um, but it was it was great. It was great seeing that. So that was good. I um, definitely want to see more of that. Um, yeah, just that 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 first segment was great. I'm glad y'all spotlight uh, had a spotlight on that. We then get to Gerald. He had this giveaway event, and so he went back to the church where um, Apollo. I think it's Apollo's church where they took him. Where they where when Apollo took them all there a couple episodes ago, and he gave he first came and gave food um, to them, but then. Um, um, the guy who I just learned his name this episode, Tristan, or Contagion, I'll call him Tristan, the big guy with the glasses whose name I ain't know for a long time. He came and um, he brought like school supplies and then Apollo came and he brought some other supplies. So they also gave out like school supplies and hygiene products and stuff like that to the um, to the church for the um, program they have with the kids and so forth. So that was really, really good. I loved seeing, um, I loved seeing Gerald in his element. Um, and I feel like this is, even though he may not agree, but I feel like this is the type of work that he should be doing. That's, it seems like something that he's called to do this type of thing. He enjoys it. He's good at it. But boo, baby, baby doll, doll baby. These delusions you have talking about you, somebody's models. Girl, did you see what he had on? I, I'll post a picture somewhere around me of what he had on during various episodes, um, parts of this episode. Model, model what? Model for who? 
For what? For the dumpster behind Goodwill or something? Girl, y'all make this shit make sense because I don't even understand that. But anyway, Gerald, do this is the type of stuff you need to be doing because you need to give up this modeling and all of these other things that you call yourself doing. I really would love to see him do that. So it was good stuff seeing Gerald and Apollo and Tristan do this because um, this is it, it was great. It was great seeing that they spoke with the people. They spoke with some of the kids. Um, they, they did a lot of good work there. So the first half of this episode was really good. I loved seeing the philanthropic um, um, or the charitable and benevolent parts of who these people are, which is what it's supposed to be. Now, then eventually they're, they're, they're going to have mess and drama and, oh dear God, it came, dear God. As I fogged up my glasses. So then um, Jamie has this event called No Netflix, Just Chill. Now, if I'm not mistaken... When you say Netflix and chill, the chill part is supposed to be like sex or something. So when he said no Netflix, just chill, like my mind immediately went to like some huge orgy or sex party that he was having. Not this group where they just sit and shoot the shit and talk. And that's the one thing I want to say about his event. It was some event where they just bring up a topic and people just talk. My issue, while it might have been well intentioned i think there needs to be much more structure it there didn't seem to be at least from the clips that i saw there didn't it didn't seem to be per purposeful dialogue or engagement it was just oh, okay well we just gonna come together we just gonna talk for a little bit i didn't know what the goal at the end of all of this chill as you call it was so um in my mind i was like See, yeah they definitely need more structure here they need to um you know, have a definitive format and a reason by and an and an objective for what they're doing and what they're meeting for. So, yeah, um, yeah, it wasn't a whole lot of people there. Basically, the cast and maybe a couple other people. Um, after the event, the cast sat down to talk after Jamie's event. Gerald starts. And he just goes off the rail and he's all animated and he's just so, so facts fixated on this whole um, thing about Malik said, talking about the video quality of Apollo's YouTube channel and Android versus iPhone and this. And it was like, and my thing about it was when all of that was going on. He, he was just making this huge situation and causing a whole lot of drama when nobody was there for drama. And I was like, bitch, fall the fuck back. Like, really? You got a lot of energy for a situation that did not even involve you. And this is where I said these... I, need, I had to put on my second mask when this scene came because it wasn't just Gerald. It was Jerome, too. And so I wrote down... because at, Oh, yeah, at one point... He went through all of this gaslighting and putting 20 on 10 and making the situation just a horrific situation. Only then to say, but I just want y'all to talk and I don't want this to be a big thing. I don't want y'all to, you know, get all excited and animated. I don't want this to become big. Bitch, you just tried to make it big. You just tried to gaslight this and make this a huge situation. But then you go, oh, but I don't want this to become a big thing. Then why bring it up? It was a mess. Jerome got into it. Um, And I felt like this. This is why I had to put on the second mask when Jerome got into it. Because Malik came right out and said, I don't, it, don't, it don't bother me. I don't really have a problem with it. It wasn't even that big of a deal. It ain't that big of a situation. If you want, I can use your app on the next app and my shit could be right since you're a whole videographer. Malik was not that bothered with it. But Jerome and Gerald seemed to have all of this smoke, all of this to say about it. And what that said to me was, is that Jerome and Gerald don't like Malik. And they're looking for a reason to be able to go at Malik. They're looking for any space that they can find so that they can go at Malik. And so if that means that that has to come through third party, meaning if I can put 20 on 10 with the situation with Malik and Apollo, maybe it will segue to me being able to get into it with Malik. Like, that's kind of how I feel. And if y'all don't have, if y'all don't see it for Malik, if y'all don't have a problem with Malik, then y'all need to just come out and just go to Malik and say, bitch, I don't like you. I don't like you. Your spirit, your aura, everything about you does not agree with me. I just want you to know. You stay your way. I'm going to stay my way. Because if you say something wrong to me, bitch, I'm going to go off. Y'all need to have that back and forth with Malik because I feel like they were using this situation to project some of their own issues with Malik 
and because Malik hasn't yet given them a reason for to, to come at them like that. But please be clear. The moment Malik does the slightest thing to either Gerald or Jerome, you can be sure they're going to fly off the handle. They're going to find any reason to go the fuck here. That was the whole episode, y'all. Like I said, the first part of the episode was great. It was phenomenal. The second part, the last, not even the second part, the last part with that thing, it was just unnecessary made-up drama. That's all I got for y'all. Y'all let me know how y'all feel because, yeah. Until next week, that's all I got. Thank y'all for coming. Y'all drive safely. I'm out.